my friend Frankert says that should come to the podium so people notice how short I am. First of all, let me tell you how grateful I am to be invited to this uh, third presidential forum and pay tribute to one of the greatest statements of the world. One of the greatest statements of the world, President Shimon Peres. <laughs> Latin America is a continent of 500 million people. It also has have suffered uh, the global financial crisis. If that crisis would have taken place 50 years ago, uh, the continent would have been in ashes. Fortunately, we have learned a lesson. We have put the house in order economically. In the financial crisis of 2008 to 2009, cut the continent in a rather robust legs to absorb the adverse effects of that crisis. But with all due respect, let me tell you that although we have paid a price for that crisis, particularly in 2009, Latin America was always known as a continent that produced crisis, chaotic, disorder, hyperinflation, you name it. My friends, the crisis of 2008, 2009 was not produced in Latin America this time. The region was growing at an average of 6%. Average. Some countries were growing at 9%, such as Peru. It's been growing in, at an average of 8% for the last 10 years, except 2009, because of the crisis. We have expanded markets. Our exports now represent 33% that goes to the United States and the difference to the rest of the world. We have opened up markets to Europe, to Asia, and predominantly to China. And while the United States has been, uh, attention has been absorbed by political problems in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in North Korea, China has been making its way to Latin America. And they are really a bulldozers. Investment are coming. And I have to admit that this rates of economic growth, to a large extent, is done not only to the efforts of manage the economy responsibly, but also because the price of commodities in the international market are very attractive and are high. Now I understand why the Israeli and the Jewish people are, are calling call themselves the chosen people. God was extremely generous with you guys. He decided to put absolutely no natural resources <laughs> and surround them by a neighborhood not very friendly. But you were the chosen one. Because somehow, sometime, God got mad at Latin America and then put us too many natural resources. We have gold, silver, 
copper, oil, gas. Of course, not only Latin America, the Arab countries also. And so this point is to make the following. There is an exogenous factor that explains to a large extent the economic success of the region. And consequently, there is a challenge for the leadership of the region to take advantage of these high prices of commodity in the international market and to transform the economy into a more aggregate value economy, into a knowledge economy, in order to be less vulnerable to the fluctuations of the prices of the international market. So to provide aggregate value and agro-industry, manufacture, tourism, labor-intensive activities are part of the challenges that we have. I hope the industrialized world will have the courage to put the money in research and development to find an alternative sources to energy, particularly to oil. If we do that, then we will have a world that is cleaner, we will have energy that is cheaper, and we will be more free from the chantage of the countries that produce oil. And therefore, those countries that are associated with authoritarian regimes of fundamentalist ideologies, then they will have to suffer or have to drink their own oil. <laughs> Finally, friends, this country has sent a lesson to the world that by being the chosen people, you have being obliged to invest in the minds of your people. In nutrition, health, of education of quality. And that's the lesson perhaps that the developing world should derive from this small country that is still has not been able to transmit its wor word to the world. And I hope that this September in the United Nations, you will make your case that this is a democracy with a healthy economy, with democratic values that we share. God bless the world. <laughs>